Welcome back to my car that's now in Primer. Okay, it's been a while, not long enough though to start playing with it too much of the primer. Um, so it's definitely gone touch dry now, it's all good. Um, got Definitely got a couple of little runs which aren't a problem with filler primer, that's for sure. Aren't really too much of a problem with silly to be honest, it's just more work to get rid of the runs. But with filler primer it's a bit easier because it's a bit softer. Um, so yeah, but we've got to leave it for a few days now, another day or so, um, for that to go off. But what I'll do is I'll just take the uh, masking paper off the wheels and around the um, uh, the seals and everything because that's going to need to be remasked anyway and it allows me to move the car back further forward, back and forward because I'm going to have to start working on the doors now. Uh, because, uh, yeah, as I said, I've got to leave this to go off for a few days. So let's take the masking off and see what things are looking like. I don't know what it is, but I actually love taking masking paper off after you've painted something. I don't know what it is, it's just it's gonna be even better once you've actually painted it black and just it unhides the car that's hiding underneath everything. Really good. Right, so. Last bit for now, just the back. Uh look, I've got a car underneath. All right, still waiting on my seam strips. I think they should be turning up today, hopefully. Um, hopefully, well, they're patterned ones, but hopefully they're gonna be all good. I've got some new stainless steel clips to go behind them. So what I'll do is I'm gonna etch prime, prime them. Won't need much filler prime on them, I don't think, obviously, because they're quite small. And uh, yeah, they can be fitted to the car. What I will try and do those, I think, I don't know. My dad used to sort of run a um, spray paint first when you when you're doing your top coat get some paint down this first then put the seam strip on and then carry on with the top coat again sort of thing just to see if you get a real good sort of you know, get some good black right in the corners uh, so we're, we'll have to deal with that in a few days time when we come around to painting it so uh, this is on the roof now I'm just going to try and show you some of the things that have gone wrong so you can just see here if you can see that yeah just something's happened don't know if it's where the filler is or where the where it's bare metal maybe. Um, it's just reacted slightly. Very hot <laughs> to see on the camera I'm afraid, sorry. Also gone a bit speckly. It must be around where I've done the filler work and stuff. So it's something related to it. We've got some more there, but I think that's mostly water got in there, so we're just gonna have to rub that away once it's all dried off. So uh, yeah. Overall not too bad. Definitely some bits, but I'm hoping that the the wet and drying will uh, sort things out. And I'm down at the front here, know, maybe still a slight dip in that, but you can just see a sh shadow there. It's just sunken a little bit into the filler again. I'm hoping that maybe once I rub that down, that, that will go level. It's obviously just the first few layers of the, the filler primer sunken into the filler, maybe. Wing area, a bit of a dent here, looking good so far. Can't see any major problems with it. So again, let that all go off. Again, tr truth will be in there uh, once the gloss blacks on. One thing I noticed when I was painting is I forgot to put any sealant in these joints um, when I've done all the other ones. So it's not the end of the world. I can still do that. So I can just do it before I do the top coat. So that will be something that needs to be done. And so remind me to do that. Okay, in, in the movies time, um, in the Hollywood time, that it's, it's been a while now since so it's dried off. I'm just going to put what they call a guide coat on. It sounds like I know what I'm doing, uh, but it's just a, basically a different colour you try and put on. So you then try and sand all that off um, to guide you to see if there's any highs or lows. Um, I thought I had some black, but I didn't really want to use gloss black. I thought I had some satin black, but I've lost all the nozzles for the tin. So I've just got some completely different coloured filler primer. The other, other colour, so I'll be able to be all right, because that would be quite easy to rub off as well then. So I'm just going to sort of do that in... It will mostly it will be random areas of the car. Um, there's no intelligence on my view, but there's certain areas I'm going to miss out, just like the scuttle things and bits and bobs and the bumpers. Um, you don't need, you know, and the door steps and stuff. I'm not going to bother about making sure they're perfectly flat. They're going to be all right. It's just the main things like the wings, the quarters, parts of the roof. Um, well, I really want to try and do my best.
Okay, um, hopefully you'll be able to see that when I block it. So basically, I'll leave that to go off a little bit and I'm gonna come back and try and block it all off and see if it all disappears. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna wet and dry the whole car down, hopefully with sort of 600 or 800. Um, and if it all goes well, I don't need a primer. If I do need to fill any more areas, I will do, and I'll have to do a bit more primer. Um, but yeah, and we'll see how we go. All right. Um, a bit of primer's just gone off now, which is my guide coat. I've got myself some 800 wet and dry, so we'll give that a go to start with, I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible, because um, you don't really want to get any dirt or any grit on it, because it just causes scratches that you're trying to get rid of. Got a little tub of, to put my water in. Uh, last time, I don't know why I did it, but I picked up some battery water um, from Halfords, um, because part of me said it was like deionized, so it's as clean as, you know, maybe cleaning and getting out of the tap, I was just told to, you know, anything from sort of tap could be a bit dirty, so it sounds like I'm being very professional, but I don't know whether it works or not, even though I've made the whole tub get dirty, so a bit pointless really, but you know, my dad always uses clean tap water anyway, so, um, so we'll fill that up. And then we'll get our block and we're just gonna get some wet and dry around it and see how we go. Okay, this is the first time I'm properly using guide coat in any way, for shape or form, um, because I feel like I, I, I must or, or try and do my best. And as you can see, I've just gone over it lightly anyway, and you can already see just uh, very where the patches are still left. So they're just basically saying that's high, I mean, that's low. Um, so yeah, we've got to technically just keep rubbing away without going too far down, but you want to get rid of those patches, supposedly. So it seems to be working, I think, unless I'm doing something wrong. So hopefully, I don't know if it's working, we'll find out once we find the, uh, hit the top layer. Uh, yeah, I'm slowly getting rid of the guide coat colour, the beige colour. Um, and then I'll just have to take a call on some of the areas that aren't going and decide whether it's just fractionally or I do need filler. Um, just using kitchen roll to try and dry it, which is actually the wrong thing to do, but that's what I've got at hand. So yeah, maybe a couple of boring videos before we get some paint on, I'm afraid. Okay, it's a bit hard to see. There's definitely a couple of little tiny ripples here, so I don't think what to do about that. But where it reacted earlier, it definitely uh, seems to have now I've let it dry and calm itself down and rubbed it down a bit. It seems to have sorted itself out, which is good. So, as you can see here, there's definitely still some high patches in the guide coat, or low patches, sorry, low patches, that aren't getting hit by the um, the block. So we'll have to see what we can do about that. We can try and obviously rub a little bit more. Obviously what you don't really want to do is go through to the, the metal or underneath again. But yeah, um, I think that's it going to be for this one. Uh, more of this tomorrow, I think, and then maybe hopefully uh, at the end of the weekend we can get some black on it if it all goes well. <laughs> 